Good morning children. Today we are going to start the remaining part of the chapter number two of the geography that is inside our earth. In this chapter, uh, in the previous classes we have discussed about uh, the things like the interior of the earth. Interior of the earth means what? That how the interior part of the earth is formed. In that period we have seen that the interior of the earth is made up of different layers like the crust, the mantle, the upper, the lower mantle, the core, even the inner core, outer core, this kind of layers we have discussed. In this we have also discussed about uh, how these different layers of the earth are formed of different kind of minerals uh, like silica, aluminium, uh, magnesium and all that. Then we have discussed about the rocks and minerals in this chapter. In this chapter we have discussed about the rocks and minerals that how the rocks are of different types. The rocks are of uh, different types like igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks, metamorphic rocks and this all type of rocks are basically forming in the form of extrusive or intrusive rock. Extrusive rocks which are which means which are forming on the top of the earth or on the surface of the earth and the intrusive rocks means the rocks which are forming inside the earth. All these things we have discussed and as well as we have seen that uh, how the uh, igneous and sediment rocks can change into metamorphic rocks under great heat, heat and pressure all these things we have discussed. Now uh, the, the next part we are going to see that is use of rocks or the uses of rocks. See the rocks are used for various activities. The rocks are used by the human for various kind of activities such as for making buildings and roads as well as uh, the const all kind of constructional activities. So here in this box some uses of the rocks are given like basalt rocks are there, calcite rocks, rocks are there, granite rocks are there. All these rocks are used for different purposes like basalt is used for construction of the roads, buildings and uh, all these things. Calcite or uh, we can say the li limestone. Calcite stones are which stones basically these are limestone. So limestone is used for making the uh, cement or uh, sometimes mortars, mortars also made up of calcite. Uh, granite you know uh, the granite rocks are used for buildings, monuments and tombstones. Marble you know very well various kind of beautiful buildings are made up of or made from the marble which is a metaphor metamorphic rock you know the very very well example that is uh, Taj Mahal it is made up of rocks so there are different uses of the rocks and they are the uh, and you know the rocks are the source of the minerals which are useful for various purposes in our daily life now the next point that we are going to see is the rock cycle. What is rock cycle basically? The rock cycle is the process of transformation of the rock from one type to another type. And this is occurring through the rock cycle. So we can say the rock cycle is a complete process from which the rock is converting into the different type of rock. Like magma is converting into the igneous rock, igneous rock is converting into the sediments, sediments and the igneous both are getting converted into metamorphic rocks and again magma and again igneous rock. So this complete process is called as the rock cycle. It describes the changes among the three main type of rocks, igneous, uh, sedimentary and metamorphic rocks. As you can see in this picture here, the first of all the magma is there the magma when it erupts onto the top of the earth or when the magma is getting uh, solidify into the inside the earth then the igneous rocks are forming when this igneous rock as well as metamorphic rock uh, sorry sedimentary rock both are getting uh, broken into the small fragments or small particles then it is converting into the sedimentary rock 
and this sedimentary as well as igneous rock when they are going under great get great heat and pressure they are getting converted into the metamorphic rock and again all these rocks are when uh, getting converted into the magma or into the molten form it is called as the magma so uh, in this way we can say the rock soil is a continuous process which changes the form of the rock now here in detail we are going to understand what is rock cycle basically see first of all when the molten magma cools it solidifies to become igneous rock these igneous rocks are broken down into small particles or fragments by various agents such as weathering changes in the temperature wind erosion and all that with the help of this the rock the rocks or igneous rocks are broken into small particles and are transported and deposited to different areas or in different regions and thus forms the sedimentary rock how the sedimentary rocks are forming see uh, smaller grains of rock keep moving towards the basins and lower region and gradually when they deposit on each other layer by layer strata by strata these are converting into the sedimentary rocks when the igneous rocks as well as sedimentary rocks are subject in subjected into the heat and pressure see when igneous rocks and sedimentary rocks both type of rocks are getting subjected into the uh, great heat and pressure they change their form into metamorphic rocks see the meaning of metamorphic is basically what the changed form the changed form of the rock means what are the metamorphic rocks the metamorphic rocks which are still under heat great heat and pressure melt down to form the molten magma see when the metamorphic rocks uh, remains into the continuous great heat and pressure they all this type of metamorphic rocks are getting uh, converted into the form of molten magma and when this molten magma again cool down and solidify into igneous rocks as well as then again all these processes from igneous rock to sedimentary rock sedimentary rock to uh, metamorphic rock this continuous process starts or remain continuous we can say so this process is not of one day or two day it takes all it takes hundreds of thousands of year to convert the form of the rock now the next point that we are going to see is the minerals see minerals are naturally occurring substances which have certain physical properties such as definite chemical compositions means the minerals to what we call the minerals see the rocks are also the form also formed of uh, different mixture of the minerals but here mineral means not the mixture of different minerals or different particles or different material it is a definite chemical composition for example if you will take diamond diamond is what diamond is a kind of a carbon diamond is what diamond is a kind of a carbon so uh, the carbon is what it is a definite chemical chemical composition so in this way we can say the the minerals are having with some certain physical properties as well as definite chemical compositions uh, and all these minerals are very uh, important for the humans uh, like uh, coal natural gas petroleum these are all the type of minerals you know very well the coal is important for the heat and energy natural gases are important for cooking as well as for uh, various use uses in the industries petroleum is useful for making the plastic petrol petroleum products and all that like diesel and petrol all so they are also used in industries also how they are used for example iron is there aluminium is there gold uranium etc these are all used in the industries even some minerals are used in the medicinal forms also like uh, some min some minerals are used for making the minerals some uh, sorry for, for making the medicines some minerals are used for making the fertilizers 
you would have heard of the nitrogen phosphorus and potash these are the important fertilizers used in nowadays in the agricultural areas and these are these all the minerals like phosphorus potash uh, phosphorus potash as well as the nitrogen these are all uh, the kind of the minerals and they are used as the fertilizers so in this way the chapter number 2 inside our earth is completed uh, in the further part of this period i'm going to give you some questions as well as answers and i will give you the date for the submission of um, uh, this homework in today's period or in the next period so till then goodbye thank you very much we will meet in the next period